If you have 1 GB RAM, no graphics card, and a dual-core processor, then this video is for you. Because in today's video, I will introduce you to an emulator that was released about 10 years ago, but still works perfectly on low-end PCs. I have tested this emulator on both of my CEs, and it has given me quite a good performance. So, if you also want to install it, watch the entire video. The download link for this file will be available in the description below. You just need to double click on it and the extraction will start. After the extraction is complete, you will see an interface like this. You just need to check this box and click next. In the next step, you need to choose the emulator directory and click next. After that, click on the install button and the installation will start. As soon as the installation is complete, the emulator will launch automatically. It might crash the first time, but when you try for the second time, it will launch. Once the emulator is launched, you will see an interface like this, and you need to select Apex Launcher and choose Always. As you can see, the emulator has launched and is running quite smoothly. In this emulator, you will find some extra applications that are necessary for running the emulator, so do not remove them. You cannot play high-end games on this emulator because its Android version is quite old. Let me quickly install and test some small games. I didn't encounter any significant problems with this emulator, but there was one issue. Every time I run this emulator on Windows 10, it crashes repeatedly. If you have Windows 7, you should definitely give it a try. If you want to run Free Fire without any emulator on a low NP, so you should definitely watch this video. <laughs> 